Mediahelper.com, and what I'm doing here is I'm going to open this uh, Moto G Play. Um, we're going to set this up. I just uh, purchased this on Best Buy. I actually have a story behind it that I'm going to share. I'm going to go over specs after I open it and put in the SIM card and get everything going. Um, so let's open this now. Freshly, freshly opened package. And then, um, so I'm out of here. And I do have a story behind this, and I'm going to share it probably in another video. But um, let's get this going. If you happen to purchase this, what is this stuff they put on there? It's like a, a napkin or like a blanket, <laughs> like a comfort blanket. So it's comfortable in the box. So here's here's your Moda phone. I mean, it's basic, right? Same stuff as always. Nothing's changed. Uh, Volume button's there, power button there. It's probably charged to a certain degree. SIM card right there, or where we're going to put the SIM card, depending on your um, carrier. I have uh, Mr. Ryan Reynolds, which is uh, Mint Mobile, which works good for me. I'm not a big phone user. I'm not on the phone a lot. Um, if I want to get a hold of somebody, it's usually on this computer that I'm filming on right now. Um, I mean, the only real person I talk to is my girlfriend, and I'll call my mother once in a while. And I don't really talk to anybody else. I don't need to be. If I'm going to be on Facebook, which I'm not on a lot, I just wait till I'm on the computer. I'm not sitting around anyone's house. I'm not sitting in the restaurant um, on my phone. I'm just not sitting around on my phone like most people. I just it's not doing me. So what you get is basically what you always get, right? Here's a adapter that goes into your wall with a USB connection in the back. Here's, um, so here's USB-C, just like, just typical. I have like a million of these freaking things. Okay, so you can either um, plug this into your phone like so, and then you plug that into any USB, right? Uh, power unit, a uh, laptop, a desktop. I've got a um, cable box over there, the, your, your car. Um, you can get a extension for your car in order to plug it in. And some cars now, I don't have it, but some cars now come with USB, I guess. Um, I'm not that sophisticated lover, so I don't have that kind of... I'm not that glamorous. So I don't have that kind of sophistication, that kind of technology. Um, so we'll put that aside, just a standard. And so what we want to do is um, we want to put the SIM card in. So there's... That's where you're going to put the SIM card. So here is the little SIM card tool. So make sure you don't lose that. It's very small and very easy to lose. Um, my carrier is mid mobile. Here's my SIM card. So my particular SIM card is going to be uh, three different sizes depending on the phone. So I'm not even to guess what would go in there yet. Once I once I open it, I'll find out. All right, so I'm going to pull this out. So once I put the SIM card in, um, I'm going to need to contact the carrier in order for them to, yeah, someone blew their nose on this, um, in order for them to activate, activate it. Let me get off my freaking finger. Um, so you're going to probably need this when you talk to your carrier. I'm going to do it on chat. You can either do it on chat or call them or smoke signals or however you work that. All right. So I'm going to. So you just simply to open the SIM card, you just put the tool in and just give it a little push. It doesn't have to be anything spectacular. And then um, and there's your SIM cards. Um, I don't know, tray, I guess. And then in typical Mosier fashion, I have things all over the place. So I'm going to take this out. And Ryan Reynolds would be very proud of me. So, okay. And I'm assuming that goes there. Okay. It's going to be where I got mutant hands. It's going to be very hard to see. Um, so, I mean, it's only one way. It can, there's only, it's in a shape of like a triangle and then a slant on one side. There's just, so there's only, oh shit. <laughs> there's only one way to put it in there. And just be careful because um, try not to get your fingerprints on it because I'm getting my fingerprints all over the place. Okay, so 
It's in the tray. Hopefully you don't have mutant hands like I do. All right, it's all snug. I just want to make sure it's correct. It's going to go back in there. Don't, don't force it or anything. Just... Yeah. Jeez. All right. You might have to. I've taken them out before because um, I. What is the deal with that? I need my my papers. Where'd I put my papers? That's my papers over there. Hang on, I gotta get my papers. I got my papers now. Oh, I can see. I can see. I can see. Praise Jesus. Okay. All right, that's locked in there now. That should fit in there better. Slide her in. Don't force it. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, yeah. Any office fans out there? Okay, so our Mint Mobile SIM card is in the phone. So normally these phones are powered to at least 50% already um, right off the shelf. So I'm assuming if I hit this, yeah, it's going to power on. We'll see how much power is on there already. <laughs> To set up, you don't have to have 100%. Um, it's powered up afterwards. What is on my lips? I have barbecue ribs for dinner. I think I have barbecue ribs on my uh, lips. Anywho. All right, so it's doing whatever the hell it's doing. So this is unlocked, meaning um, meaning I can choose any carrier. I want, geez, Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> Or not Doctor Who, I was thinking more of the Twilight Zone. <laughs> not Doctor Who. <sighs> okay. So it says, yep, English. So obviously I'm in the United States, so I'm going to hit yes start. And then it's just going to sit there. Okay. So it sees my Wi-Fi network. All right, so it's picking up all the Wi-Fi networks in the area. So I'm going to hit mine. All right, then it's going to ask for the password. So, oh, yeah. I think this is it. Oops, shit. Show password. Okay. Eight. Don't show password. Then we're going to hit connect. And it looks like it's picking up network. And then it's giving you a, a help improve Motorola products. That's fine. I'll keep that on. Enhanced device. Fine. Smart updates. Fine. So read through this. I'm going to accept it all. Accept and continue. Looking for updates to update the phone. Because we just purchased it and we just opened it. So I'm not sure how long that's going to take. It says getting your phone ready. This may take a few minutes. So I might have to cut this video. We might have to come back to it. And then we'll jump on and we'll talk to Mint. All right. So from here, it's asking copy apps and data. You can to transfer your apps, phone contacts, Google accounts, and more. I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Because if they're going to like text me a confirmation co code, I'm not going to be able to get it because I don't have a phone to get it. So let's see. I'm going to hit next just for shit and, shits and giggles. You can put don't copy. I'm going to hit next and see what happens. Use your old device. You need your old Android I or iPhone device. Turn it on. Okay, so I can't do that. I can't use my old device. That's that's in Florida or somewhere. That might be in Paris, France. For all, all I know, that's the problem. I lost my last phone. So I'm going to click OK. Restore data without old device, it's saying. So I'm going to hit OK on that. So if you have your device, you can do it. I just don't have mine. OK. Spinning, 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 spinning. Funny. Checking info, it says. <clears throat> do, do, do. It's still checking info. Um, okay, I'm wondering how this is. So it's Google. It's asking for my email account. I don't know how this is going to work because I can't get a confirmation unless it's going to send it via email. So I'm going to put in my email address here. And I'm not really sure how this is going to turn out. Uh, 
gmail.com. Um, um, hit next. Password. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. So it's asking for my password. It's just like normally how you would um, sign into Google. Let's see if this is right. Yeah, it looks right. Okay. Okay, I'll hit next. See, this is where I'm going to get screwed over. Use your phone or tablet to get security code. I can't. So none of these will work. That's the stupid freaking thing about this in Google. Get a verification code on your number. I don't have a phone. <laughs> How am I supposed to get a verification? Uh, enter an eight-digit backup codes. Does anyone keep those? All right. So it says, or try account recovery instead. We're going to do that. Account recovery. So it's asking for my password again. Oh, okay. It says it's sending a verification code. Um, so I'm getting in. Okay. So I have a verification code through my email and I'm going to put that verification code in now. So 619095. Next. And okay. A sign in link will be sent to CMOSER. So a sign in link will be sent to my email within 24 hours. It doesn't usually take that long. That's right there. Uh, we'll send a link in your account in 24 hours. Uh, okay. Okay, I'll close this. That's fine. Um, it says Google services. So I'll just hit more. I'll hit, I'll accept the Google services because, you know, Google has you by the balls anyway, so you might as well. Um, pin, my pin. I think I know my pin. I think that's my pin. Or, oh, okay, it's having you set up a PIN. So it's having me set up a four-digit, or it doesn't have to be four-bit. Nah, I don't want to do, I don't use the finger. You can unlock with fingerprint. I don't do that shit. So you can do it if you want. Uh, review additional apps. Oops, okay. Okay, it's getting my phone ready again. And then it's say, let's stay in touch. Um... Motorola, which is fine with me. I'm gonna, so I'm going to put in my email so Motorola can send me updates and stuff. That's fine. I don't care about that. And you can cancel those updates anytime, obviously. There will be an unsubscribe at the bottom of the email that you receive, just like any other junk email you get. Um, <clears throat> where's the app? I'm getting tired. It's been a long day, Gales and guys. And, uh, um, all right, there's going to be more. Okay, and then we're going to hit next. And then you're all set. You're ready to start using your phone. All right, she's a pretty lady. All right. All right, I just wanted to jump in just to state that, um, yeah, later that evening, um, all my information, all my contacts from my old phone, because everything is was linked to Google, I was able to get into Google, all popped in my phone. So all the information I had, except for pictures, which I didn't have a lot of pictures and on any type of video, which I didn't have any video on my other phone, but all the other information that I had on my other phone uh, populated into this phone to the fact that um, it was all linked to Google. So the Google thing did... Uh, work out once I put in that security code. So let's get back to the original video. <laughs> Coffee. So it is time to go to Mint Mobile. Okay. So obviously this is going to be different for each carrier. So this is my phone number. If you want to call me, I don't answer my phone. So good luck. <laughs> good luck. Good luck contacting me. Um, no, I don't need a replacement SIM. Not this. Oops, no, I didn't want to do that. Refer a friend. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, Chris Mercy Motor. So I don't know. I might break this up into two different videos, three different videos. So the first one will be, yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to do this. But let's, uh, let's reach out to Mint Customer Service. Uh, 
seven. That's current mobile user. Start chat. Do, 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 do. I'm going to start. So let's see, tech support, account support. I would say account support. Refunds, forgot password, pay concern, replacement sim, help with activation. Yeah, I better get my peeper. Thanks for joining Movement. Cheers to no longer being ripped off by, it's true. Uh, Mid Mobile is a great price. Now tell me what you're trying. Existing number, so I already have a number through them. Do you have your account number, PIN number? Yes. Visit activate page on Mint Mobile. All right. Okay, enter 11 account code located on the back of your SIM. So here's your account code right up at the top. If you have an eSIM, oh no, I don't have an eSIM. I don't have an eSIM, so I don't know what to tell you there. All right, let me put this in here. Six, eight. Make sure you um, do what they say there. Don't do lowercase. I'm not even sure if you can. Six, eight, F, A, C, two, six, three, seven, four, six. Started. Looks like account code you entered is invalid. Go back. Let's see again here. Oh, I was waiting for somebody. Then I saw. Um, I was kind of looking the side. It said activate sim. So instead of using that link, um, sixteen digit number the back here sim card. So sixteen digit. Holy crap! All right. So it's this one in the bottom. Where is my? So it's this one on the bottom. So let's enter that. Eight, nine, zero, one, two, six, zero, eight, nine, seven, one, one, five, zero, eight, one, four, seven, eight, Frank. Frank. Not need the Frank, activate. Actually transferred your phone number. All right. Let's see if I can call the landline here. All right. So I'm going to hit the, the little phone thingy dingy. Put 16. Okay. So I got my number back. All right. Reasons, contacts. All right, so we're all set. We're transferred. The phone works. And then we'll go into um, the stats of the phone and we'll get more in depth to the phone. But we got our number uh, transferred over to our new phone. So to finish up, we'll just look at the, the stats of this phone. And if you're looking for another phone, maybe not necessarily this phone, I'll give you a general idea what the stats are on that too. So this page is going to be down in the description. It is an affiliate link. So if you decide to purchase this phone through Amazon, that will um, that will kick back some money to my media helper. And that would be appreciated. That, that holds true for a lot of links that are on here. I like to have full disclosure on that. This was about the price. I actually got this at Best Buy. But um, that was the price, and um, so oh, they've gone so much down since I first had got my smart device. Jesus, I think my first one was like six hundred dollars. So just like televisions, smartphones have gone down um, immensely, while the quality has gone up, and that's something that doesn't <laughs> usually happen in life, right? Um, so this is going to be your RAM. It's going to be three gig. That's standard. I mean, if you're doing regular things on your phone. 
two will be sufficient. Three, if you're gaming, three is good. Streaming, three is really good. So that's like your standard. 32 gigabyte of storage. I'm gonna show you exactly what that means. I brought up some links. Um, uh, this is just the difference between RAM and ROM. Um, RAM is your random access memory, so it doesn't stick around um, like a rash. <laughs> I don't know. And ROM is um, your internal your internal uh, memory that does stick around like a like a rash. Um, so here we go. Capacity: 32 gigabytes. So right here, this gives you a general idea. Approximately number of photos: 26,000 general resolution photos right nothing special just something typical you would take number of songs ten thousand a lot of songs i don't have video on here but uh, it would be less video uh, so several movies i'm sure it can it can store on there um let's talk megapixels so meg megapixels are the measurement of the resolution of still and video cameras monitors and scanners little, little pixels little dots uh for example 16 megapixel still camera captures a picture composed of some 15.9 million pixels that's crazy each pixel contains a red green and blue color dot right and then they um, those are your primary colors and then they mesh in to make other colors um, so if you're doing just general, and I did bring this up, unless you want to print large sizes of your smartphone images onto posters and such, there's really no need for anything above 16 megapixels. Even that is generous. A decent mobile camera will strike a good balance between the number of megapixels it has and the size of each pixel. The resolution is, is beautiful to what I need it for. I've done video with this camera. I've done pictures with this camera. Uh, they're outstanding. I mean, unless you're blowing up huge murals or something, um, then this is going to be plenty for you. Every regular day user is not going to need anything uh, more than that. Just keep in mind, the more uh, the more RAM you want, the more resolution of camera you want, uh, your price goes up. That's pretty common sense, I would say, right? So just keep that in mind. Um, I've had the camera for three weeks now of this filming. It's beautiful. It's like a Cadillac compared to what I had. My other camera was probably about six years old and it was a dinosaur and it dragged. And um, all I do is email, uh, text uh, my lady friend and take some pictures here and there. That's all I did with it. I'm not a big gamer or anything. I don't have time. I'm doing these videos, right? So what I had on the old camera was fine. It was just very slow. This camera is uh, lickety split. It does everything that I like to do quickly. And um, I highly recommend it, um, this particular camera. I also had this camera for a bit, which I might do another video on. I only had it in my hand for a few minutes. It's not much different than this. They're both pretty much the same. The stats are a little different. Um, six gigabyte RAM, 128 uh, gigabyte of space. Uh, the price is a little less. It's a 2022, well, this is a 2023. This is the one I have. Um, not a big difference between those two. So if you wanna, I don't think saving 10 bucks is worth it. You might as well get the 2023 and up it for 10 bucks. Um, so, so that's my recommendation. That's the camera I have. I know there's a ton of choices out there. Um, this is just one particular choice of many. I can tell you it's a great phone. It does it. Oh my God, too much coffee. It's a great phone. It does everything that um, I need it and want it to do. I don't do anything crazy. I might play a game here and there, video, photos, chats, uh, voice. Um, it's just, it's great. I love it. So if you're looking for an economical phone, a Motorola phone, not necessarily an iPhone, but a Moto phone, uh, I recommend this. I don't know what else to say. I've said it 15 times, I think. Uh, I have the link in the description if you want to see more. And I thank you and I appreciate you as always. If you could please subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome. Like this video if you could. It does help with the algorithm. Uh, please share this with someone that might be looking for a new uh, phone and hit the bell for updates. And that's it, gals and guys. Oh, what do I do? What do I do all day? I make videos. So I'm going to post this one and I'm on to the next one. That's my life. <laughs> How depressing. I don't know if that's depressing or not. The videos caught in coffee. Okay, gal, gals and guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. I'm noticing I'm editing this. I kept saying camera at the end. I kept saying camera. I meant phone. I meant smartphone. That's the thing. Sometimes my mouth rattles and my brain does not cooperate with my mouth. So obviously I meant I meant I meant phone. There is a camera on the phone, so I guess it is I guess you can be considered a camera, but I <laughs>
I just want to correct that. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.